But Prof, let me bring you back in on this. Will the exit of Raila Odinga impact the Nyanza political dynamics? Um, uh, Trevor, there is no gain saying that the biggest losers in His Excellency Raila Odinga's bid for the AUC uh, chairmanship are the politicians in ODM. There's no doubt about that. No doubt because Eddie, my friend, knows that, for instance, he got a direct nomination. And most of the politicians in ODM got direct nominations. You don't have to go for nominations to be selected in the first instance for the final election by IBC. The fear, or the biggest fear, and, I, and I'll, I'll tell you this with a straight eye, a lot of politicians in ODM are unsettled. Those who know that they are beneficiaries of Baba's magnanimity, and Baba is a very magnanimous politician, let me tell you. Once he trusts you, once he knows you are loyal, he trusts you, he will hand over the ticket to you. And I think for those who've stayed in politics long enough, they know that Baba's exit means that they would have to struggle their way into the ballot. And many of them will not be beneficiaries of that process. I know constituents, for instance, let me give an example of Karachuani, for instance. There are no nominations. Migori Senate, there are no nominations. Migori government, there are no nominations. Many of these constituents had no nominations. So what happens then? It means they'll be subjected to a meritorious political context that will have casualties. And I think most of our politicians are the ones who are saying, they've been saying, that they are not consulted. But I'll always tell Baba, and I'll tell him on TV, that Baba, go for this position. This is what fits Baba. He has been on the political trail for a long time. He fits this position. Let him ignore the naysayers down here. Let him let His Excellency President Dr. William Ruto hold his hand into the AUC chairmanship. But, but Trevor, let me also say this. I watched the clip <coughs> from those who are saying that you can run the two positions at the same time. The functions of the chairperson of the AUC from the African Union Commission include representing and defending interests of the AU, initiating proposals to submit to AU organs, acting as custodian of the Constitutive Act, liaising with the organs, providing operational support, implementing AU decisions in all states and programs, drafting common, common positions, managing the budget and resources and staff. It is a full-time job. It is a busy job. And remember, <coughs> apart from the bilateral functions where you are coordinating regions, the, you have economic regions, uh, you have uh, political regions, North, South, East, West Africa. Then you have the international. So you have all these economic blocks and all these negotiations. All this will be undertaken by the AUC, the African Union Commission chairperson, yeah. a very busy office. It is impossible, Trevor, that within this busy schedule that Baba will have, that he would want to come back to ODM and engage Eddie and others and lift people's hands. It will not work. So those whose hands were previously lifted, sorry to them, it is going to be tough in ODM. Trevor, by the way, just to clarify what Eddie said, I am still a life member of ODM. I have not become from the party. So treat me as such, and I can assure you that whoever wants to see a campaign, a real campaign, look up to Kisumu in 2027. We'll have a real campaign <laughs> for the governor's position. 